thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint a daisy design on this green glass bottle. It's a Jägermeister bottle. I am going to be using two A Magic brushes, a number six and a number eight. These are both long handled and flat brushes. I'm going to be using a number eight Deerfoot stippler as well as a dotting stylus and that's whatever dotting st st stylus you want to use that's up to you. I'm going to be using wicker white I got a glare on there and fresh foliage. All of my paints are folk art paints a mixture of um, multi-surface and enamels and then I'm going to be doing uh, using thicket licorice real brown and last but not least my moon yellow. Now whatever colors I'm using you can vary from those if you want. You don't have to use the color combination or whatever you have on hand. If you use a different product that's fine. Up to you. I am definitely not picky. Now for the beginning of this I'm going to just do my brush in the wicker white. Not mixing it with any other paint. Just putting my brush in the paint and kind of dabbing it around to get it full. Then I'm going to come to the center and start making my, my petals. Now you can leave some space in the center if you want. That's up to you. But I am going to be tapping in the center so you don't have to actually pull it all the way to the center if you don't want. And I would recommend, I like to stagger my leaves so that they're not all the same length. But up to you. And you can make the flower full or you can leave some opening if you want as far as in between the petals. Or you can make it really, you know, full like I'm doing now. If you want, you can hit this with a hair dryer, heat gun. Give it some drying time and go back over it again just to make sure you have really good coverage. That's the main thing when you're doing gloss work is that you get the coverage the way you want it and the thicker the better. Not too thick. I mean you don't want it to bubble when you paint it. Bubble when you paint it. I'm sorry. Bubble when you bake it. But the thicker the better. Alright, so I'm going to go up here at the top and then just pull in Okay, I'm going to give this space in between a few of the petals that I'm painting. Just give it a little bit of a different look, more of a scraggly type of design for this open but smaller version. And then I'm going to come over here and just tap in a few petals, paint in, I always say tap in, but anyhow paint in a few petals just to have a partially open and then I'm going to do the same down at the bottom here. Have them like they're kind of hanging down just fine. Get another one. You can do the same thing on these if you want to make them um, you know, some of the petals a little bit longer. That's up to you. However you want to design it. And I am going to go ahead and hit it with a hair dryer or heat gun, actually. Okay. So, I've gone ahead, gave it some a uh, little bit of a hit with the hair dryer or the heating gun. And now I'm going to tap in my center. Now, I can go ahead and go back to, you know, uh, throwing some more heat on this before I do this, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Now, when I do my my deer foot stippler, I like to put two colors on it at once. I put one color at the front, one color at the back, and I can always go back over it if I want to do another color. Now, I might get some blending in of this white paint with this because it is still wet, and that's fine. If you don't like that idea, then go ahead and, and I would say, you know, give it another um, hit with your hair dryer or your heat gun, or give it some more drying time, whatever options you have. 
but because this is a bigger open flower, I'm going to make the center pretty good size, like that. Then I'm going to come up here to the smaller ones and kind of do the same thing. But I want to make it look a little rounder than what I'm doing. Come in here and do the same thing. Now you don't have the center, have to have the centers all pointing in the same direction. You can, like this one's going to be as if it's looking up a little bit, where the bigger one is more towards the side. I'm going to go back over here with just some of that. And then again, having a big center is fine. I want it to be big. And then I'm going to come down here and tap in these. Of course, I'm doing it upside down, so bear with me. I'm trying to get more of the brown in. I'm sorry, my air conditioning just kicked on. So bear with me on that one. I'll try to talk a little louder. And then I'm going to come up here and do this one too. Make it a little rounder. I think these are cute though. This is a cute design. I like it. Like it, like it, like it. A little bit darker there. And you could even come in here and throw some light in if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it like this. I think those are cute enough. Next thing I'm going to do is come in, double load my brush with the thicket and the fresh foliage, tipping the fresh foliage side into my moon yellow, because I do like yellow in my flower colors, or the leaves I mean. Alright, so then I'm going to do my stem. Let's do it like this. I'm going to just put it where it comes through here and wiggles, and then do it again. I'm going to pull this up and cover, turn it around like that. As like I said, I wanted it to be like it's kind of drooping or hanging down. Same thing with that one. Now, because I have limited space, it makes it a little, a little more challenging, of course. But that's okay. You know, space-wise is what I'm referencing. Alright, so I'm going to come over here, come down like that, do the same thing with the other one. Might even scrape my brush off a little bit, my bristles, and then start doing some of my uh, flower, or not flower, but I always say this, my leaves. Alright, so I'm going to just go like this. I'm going to do a wiggle leaf like that. And then come back and do it like this. Come down and go like that. Then I'm going to just take a little stem, put it in like that. Very simple. If you like a different type of leaf than what I'm using, feel free to do it. Uh, this is just what I chose to do on this design. And again, as you can see, I have some limited spacing here. So I'm going to kind of go off to the side here a little bit, just a tad bit, and then go down like this, and come back, and I can pull my stem in up this way and around, just like that. Very simple, and I think very pretty. I'm going to come here and do the same thing. Here, do the same thing, and then come in here and go like that. All right, so let's go up here, and then come up here like this. I'm not going to do any other leaves with this one, just this type of leaf that I'm doing right now. If you want it, come back over it again. 
do like that. I gotta make a little darker because I did go over the leaf petal here. Or it's the petal of the flower, I should say, not the leaf. All right, let's see if I could put another one in here any place. Uh, might be able to do one here. You don't have to squish them in if you don't feel like there's enough room. You can just leave it. I think with this design, less is better. Put a little one like that, and then I'm going to go back over it because I did go over the flower petals a little bit, so I'm just lightly touching it to kind of cover that up. And I'll do that here too because I want it, I don't want it to really be showing. Or I could, if I wanted to, just let it dry it with a heat gun or whatnot, and then put my petals back over the top of the leaf. Either way is fine. All right. The last thing I'm going to do is take my little uh, nail dotter and I am going to come in here and just put in some black dots and I'm just putting them in and then tapping really kind of quickly. I think these kind of dots actually really give it some interest, but they're not actually all round, they're just kind of speckled, and a lot of times they're pretty, pretty thick and just kind of randomly placed. If you want them to be more just, you know, dots and not multiple, you know, where I'm multiply tapping and they're not necessarily dot shaped, then you can do, do the dotting however you want to do it. This is just giving you an idea of what can be done, not what you have to do. With all of these, one thing of it is when you do it like this, you have to continuously keep adding adding more paint because it doesn't actually stay your brush or not brush, but your the dotting stylus doesn't stay loaded. Almost finished. Almost done. And like I said, this is just a very, very simple. If you're new to my channel, you'll know that I, or you don't know, please um, realize that I actually do a very simple design so that anybody can paint them. That's the whole goal of my channel. And I like to watch watch painting videos, but sometimes they're just like, I have no idea how you're going to get from point A to B. I don't, I don't get it. It's too challenging. I don't want it to be too challenging by any means. All right, so let's stop at that. Here we go. Nice little bottle. Sit it on your shelf bathroom, bedroom, living room, kitchen, wherever, it would just look awesome. If you like this video, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please feel free to share, or I'm sorry, if you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And once you're done watching the video, please share this video on your social network with all your family and friends. Very easy. There's a share button underneath the video. Just hit on that. It'll give you your social network options and go from there. 
All right, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy. I appreciate you taking time to view my videos, and you have a good one.